This story is a work of fiction. Similarities between characters or events to persons living or dead in your world are purely coincidental. Only those who have agreed to the above have the privilege of partaking in this game. The contract has been sealed. The world is not as it should be. It's filled with distortion, and ruin can no longer be avoided. Those who oppose fate and desire change. From time to time, they were referred to as tricksters. You are the trickster. Now is the time to rise against the abyss of distortion. Now get running! This is our only chance! Stay calm! You can get away now! We'll retrieve the briefcase on our end. Who was that? Don't worry about us. Just concentrate on getting away. But I have to say, showing yourself above that crowd earlier was an as always, Joker. I bet Skull wouldn't pull it off that soon. There he is! Just run! Get out of there! Okay, the enemy's focus is on him. Everyone remember where we're meeting up? No. Stop right you there! Hear us? Don't worry, I'm picking up everyone's voices. Just go, Joker! Hmm? Wait a sec. What the? I'm getting a weird reading heading your way! Come on, run! Where'd they go, damn it? I can't control 
the intruder's location. I'll end this right now. Weak self relied on you so much. That ends today. to come to your aid, senpai. Now let's win this! what just happened but i take it you're okay wait bad news enemy backups headed your way you need to book it right now please go i'm going to make it harder for them to track you down you still have something you need to do as a phantom thief right then i won't stop you since i'm not a member of the phantom thieves i'm in no position to interfere however Please don't forget the promise we made, okay? Joker, you need to get out of there! Go, go, go! All right, let's do it! Wrong? The exit should be up ahead. 
through there. That's just how it is. After that commotion, the bottom floor is completely closed off. Hey, can you make it? Over there! There's no way to run! See ya. Huh, what a show off. You're so reckless, you know that? Enemies here? What's wrong? These readings. It can't be. What happened? An ambush? Joker, can you handle this? Joker! Oh no! Capture him! Let's go! Go, go, go! Go, go, go! to find some kid you have your teammate to thank for this you were sold out suspect confirmed cuff it Guess the drug was too strong. Wake him up. No dozing off. You still don't get it, do you? Give it up! Come on, cooperate! What? You want another shot? Huh? What about the camera? Are you thinking it can be used as video evidence? You still haven't figured it out? There are no laws here that will protect criminals like you. Destruction of justice, blackmail, defamation, possession of weapons. Manslaughter too, yeah? Talk about the works. To think that all those crimes were led by a punk like this. And you seem to be enjoying every second of it. Huh? Sign here. It's a confession under your name. Don't expect to walk out of here in one piece. We are going to make you understand. One must take full responsibility for their actions.
Excuse me, but this area is off. I'm Nijima from the public prosecutor's office. The prosecutor's office? What business do you have here? Just let me through. It's urgent. There's something I need to confirm with the suspect. Nijima-san, I believe this case is no longer in your jurisdiction. Besides... Are you Prosecutor Sai Nijima? I just got off the phone with your director. Hurry and get it over with. To be frank, you're being an inconvenience. <sighs> I thought I ordered you to stand by. I'm responsible for this case, yet I'm not even being allowed in interrogation? I'm calling because I knew you'd bring it up. I will not be convinced unless I confirm it for myself. This is my case. Uh, good luck to you then. I won't be expecting much though. Ah, Prosecutor, I forgot to mention something important. Your time will be cut short. We can't permit you to talk with him for long. <sighs> it's for your own sake. His methods are unknown, after all. We don't even know if it's safe to simply meet and speak with him. I understand. I didn't expect it'd be you. You'll be answering my questions this time. <sighs> Those bastards. Can you hear me? It seems you've been through a lot. Almost anything can happen here, and I can't stop them. That's why I need you to answer me honestly. I don't have much time either. What was your objective? Why did you cause such a major incident? I didn't think it was a prank from the get-go, but I couldn't assemble a case for prosecution. It's because I couldn't figure out the method behind it. This isn't an issue of whether or not it can be used in court. I need to know. This is my case, after all. It seems you're coherent. When and where did you find out about that world? How is it even possible to steal another's heart? Now, tell me your account of everything. Start from the very beginning. Gentlemen, thank you for riding with us today. We will be arriving in Shibuya shortly. This is the last stop for this line. Please transfer here for all subway lines. The doors to your left will open. <laughs> What? Are you for real? A mental 
whole shutdown? It's the truth! To a person, though? <laughs> That's gotta be a joke. You really love all that occult stuff, don't you? <laughs> That's what's cool.
Looks like no one's home. Oh yeah, Sakura-san's usually at his cafe around this time. Well, the flong's in the back alley, so I should make my other deliveries first. Hmm. Next, I need to take this package to... Something similar happened just the other day. And down is uh, the name of a shellfish used in pearl farming. Oh, right. They did say that was today. Well, we'll be going now. The payment's on the table. Thanks for coming. Uh, this place is in the back alley, so there's no worries of a car crashing in here. What now? There's been a string of those rampage accidents, you know. I just hope that none happen around here. None of my concern. <laughs> well, see you next time. Oh, four hours for just a single cup of joe. So, you're the guy. Yeah, I'm Sojiro Sakura. You'll be in my custody over the next year. I was wondering what kind of unruly kid would show up, but you're the one, huh? Have you been told? A customer of mine and your parents know each other and, well, not that that matters. Follow me. This is your room. I'll at least give you sheets for your bed. Hmm? You look like you want to say something. It's on you to clean up the rest. I'll be leaving after I lock up each day. You'll be alone at night, but don't do anything stupid. I'll throw you out if you cause any trouble. Now then. I got the gist of your situation. You protected some woman from a man forcing himself on her. He got injured, then sued you, right? That's what you get for sticking your nose in a matter between two adults. You did injure him, yeah? And now that you've got a criminal record, you were expelled from your high school. The courts ordered you to transfer and move out here, which your parents also approved. In other words, they got rid of you for being a pain in the ass. It's best you not talk about anything unnecessary. I am in the restaurant business, you know. Behave yourself for the year. If nothing happens, your probation will be lifted. Really now? It's the word that applies to you. Your sentence lasts until next spring, right? That's why you're gonna be here for the coming year. Cause any problems and you'll be sent straight to juvie. We'll be going to Shujin tomorrow. Shujin Academy, the school you'll be attending. We'll introduce ourselves properly to the staff there. There's rarely a place that'll accept someone like you, you know? What a waste of my Sunday. Your luggage arrived a little while ago. I brought it up here for you.
What the heck? I heard you making all sorts of noise up here, but I didn't think you were cleaning. Actually, the place doesn't look too bad. Though it's only natural you'd want to keep your room tidy. Why don't you go to bed for tonight? You don't have anything better to be doing, right? I'm going to close up shop and get out of here myself. I won't be the one looking after you if you get sick from staying up too late. You got that? Brat, I'll sue. Ah, <sighs> just get in the car. Don't give me that shit. Help! Please stop! What a waste of time. You think you're worth causing me trouble, huh? I'll... I'll call the police! <laughs> call them if you want. The police are my bitches. They're not gonna take you seriously. No! Stop! Someone called the cops, huh? Get in the car! Incompetent fools like you just need to shut your mouths and follow where I steer this country. What are you looking at? Get out of my face! This ain't a show. Get lost, kid. See? This is all because you're so damn slow. Get in the car!
Trickster, welcome to my velvet room. So you come too, inmate. The you in reality is currently fast asleep. You are only experiencing this as a dream. You're in the presence of our master. Stand up straight. Welcome. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. I am Igor, the master of this place. Remember it well. I summoned you to speak of important matters. It involves your life as well. Still, this is a surprise. The state of this room reflects the state of your own heart. To think a prison would appear as such. You truly are a prisoner of fate. In the near future, there is no mistake that ruin awaits you. I speak of the end to everything. However, there is a means to oppose such a fate. You must be rehabilitated, rehabilitated toward freedom. That is your only means to avoid ruin. Do you have the resolve to challenge the distortion of the world? Allow me to observe the path of your rehabilitation. Ah, pardon me for not introducing the others. To your right is Caroline. To your left, Justi. They serve as wardens here. Ha! Try and struggle as hard as you like! The duty of wardens is to protect inmates. We are also your collaborators. That is, if you remain obedient. I shall explain the roles of these two at another occasion. Now then, it seems the night is waning. It is almost time. Take your time to slowly come to understand this place. We will surely meet again, eventually. Time's up! Now hurry up and go back to sleep! <laughs> Looks like you're up. Well then, let's go introduce ourselves properly to the staff about your transfer. The school you're attending is in the Aoyama district. It'll take a while to get there by train. The transfers are a real hassle too. I'll drive you there, but just for today. Let's go. Jeez, men aren't usually allowed in my passenger seat. yourself all right don't get me wrong I don't care what happens to you just don't cause me any trouble to reiterate just so we're clear you will immediately be expelled if you cause any problems in my opinion you're nothing but a liability but we had our circumstances to consider Whatever you might have gotten away with in your hometown, those days are over. If you are thrown out from our school, there will be no place for you to go. Keep that in mind. This is the teacher in charge of your class. I'm Sadayo Kawakami. Here's your student ID. Be sure to read the school rules. Any violations will send you straight to the guidance office. And if by chance you cause any problems, I won't be able to protect you at all. 
That is your promise, yes, Principal Kobayakawa? Mm-hmm. He is responsible for all his actions. But really, though, why me? There should have been better candidates. It was a sudden transfer, and your class was the only one that had an opening. If you're done explaining things, mind if we get going? I got a store to get back to. Sakura-san, please keep a close eye on him. Don't let him cause any trouble outside. Well, I'll be sure to have a serious talk about the situation he's in. <sighs> Come to the faculty office when you arrive at school tomorrow. I'll show you to your classroom. Everyone's giving you the cold shoulder. That's what having a criminal record does to you. Turns out your past follows you wherever you go. By the way, if you get expelled now, I won't hesitate to kick you out. Got it? Hmm. School never changes, huh? Come on, we're going home. What a troublesome situation. I can't believe they pushed someone with a record on me. A male teacher would be better suited for this. Why in the world was someone like that admitted here? Who knows? It was the principal's decision. I was told that it's for the school's reputation. I would have thought that my volleyball team has contributed more than enough to cover that. That's certainly true. Be careful, okay? Then again, if anything were to happen, I'd kick out a student like that right away. I keep wishing that he'd just end up not coming to school. Still, that isn't something I should be saying as a teacher. Well, I should be returning to practice. Oh, right. The tournament's coming up, isn't it? <laughs> Having such high expectations placed on you by others is quite a problem in itself. We'll have to work hard to make up for the track team, too. Yes, that's true. be my class. Ugh, traffic's not moving at all. You're taking the train starting tomorrow. So, how was it? The school, I mean. Think you can manage? Listen up. Still, you were expelled once already. <laughs> to think you'd re-enroll at a different one. It's not like anyone will be sympathetic with you. If that's what it was like at school, people might say stuff about me in the future, too. What a troublesome kid I've taken in. I was asked to do it, and I just happened to agree to it. Uh, I've already been paid for it, too, after all. And now, back to today's top stories. A subway train has derailed, severely affecting the timetable across all of... Oh, another accident. So that's why it's so crowded. There's been a lot of those lately. In fact, there was a real sad one just last month happened before you came here. If I remember right, the girl that passed away was only 15. Her parents have got to be just... All traffic around Shibuya Station is being redirected due to the accident, so drivers should expect jam-packed streets. Oh, come on. Wait behind
from the accident. According to the police, the engineer's life was not in danger despite his injuries. After questioning, even he could not explain his high speed when approaching the station. No further comments were made. Police are still looking for a plausible motive. It's less of an operating accident and more of a crime of the company and the government. Site inspectors apparently reported all of this six months ago. The deterioration of the tracks and the ATC. Seems a railway company and the Ministry of Transport both turned a blind eye to the truth. There's no way they can hide. This will go all the way to the top. Now on to our main story. With this derailment accident, as well as other recent incidents of unknown motive, concern is spreading among the general public. Just what could be causing such a drastic change so suddenly in these people? SNN has Everything's linked. That's what you're thinking, correct? Hmm. Oh, well. Are you free? You and I haven't gone for a drink in a while. Thank you, sir. But I have another meeting to attend. I must be going. I was, I was ready to go for this meeting. And that's when this extremely fast train just came crashing in. Oh, man. I thought I was gonna die. A noisy subway platform filled with people when suddenly... Did you ask for me? Is it a case? Not quite. I want your opinion on something. Sure. Your judgment is quite often correct, though. Can we discuss this over sushi, perhaps? You are making a student work late, after all. Conveyor belt only. Ah. think there'd be that much traffic. What a waste of time. I wasn't able to open the cafe today. <sighs> Whatever. Just head upstairs. There's something I need to give to you. Talk about a gruesome accident. 80 people were involved. Here's a diary. Make sure you keep it up to date. You may be under probation, but there's no special limitations on what you do in particular. Besides following the law, that is. However, I'm obligated to report on you, which is why I'm having you record your daily activities. Hey, what's up? I'm about to leave right now. Don't worry. I'll be there in no time. Uh -huh. I'll see you soon. Well, I'm off. I'll lock the place up. So do whatever you want for the rest of the night. Oh, but don't mess up my store. If something goes missing, I'll hand you right over to the cops. You got school tomorrow. You better head off to bed, all right? I should write something. <laughs> 